The Tennessee walking horse industry is kicking up controversy tonight. The tradition has been dogged by accusations of animal cruelty for years, but now a new push is underway to change how the horses are trained. Our Jason Lamb was in Murfreesboro today, where it was standing room only at a hearing on the proposal. The meeting in a Murfreesboro hotel was so packed it spread out into the hallway. No, I'm just out here trying to listen what I can. I'm here to voice my opposition of this new proposed rule change. They were all here to weigh in on a proposed USDA rule change meant to cut down on an illegal practice called soaring. It is time for the industry to change. That is sometimes used to give Tennessee walking horses their distinctive exaggerated gait in competitions. The use of chemicals that cause soaring is already outlawed, but the rule change would also ban things like chains and hoof pads. And this is where the disagreement begins. I said it is animal cruelty. You cannot do it without the suffering and pain of horses. The equipment, if utilized correctly, uh, absolutely provides no harm to the horse. Pro walking horse industry groups say not only do the chains and pads not hurt the horses, but banning them would essentially decimate the Tennessee walking horse industry's annual marquee event, the celebration. Well, it does a lot of good things for a lot of people. The celebration itself uh, gives uh, a couple hundred thousand dollars a year through concession sales to civic clubs in, in Shelbyville. Animal rights groups who say the devices amount to animal cruelty say that's no excuse. There's no justification for hurting animals for charitable purposes. Another part of the rule change would give the USDA more control over the training and licensing of horse show inspectors. Where she's hitting that nerve. Those opposed to the change point to videos like this one that the horse industry says shows a USDA inspector deliberately pinching a horse's nerve to get the horse to act like it's been aggravated by soaring. We've documented many cases of it, have sent it to them, they continue to ignore. But those in favor of the more restrictive rules say this video is likely the exception, not the rule. But now, you've got one instance here, and I don't think it's reflective of the overall inspection process. While the USDA will move to other locations across the country for similar listening sessions, it's clear this contentious debate over the Tennessee walking horse won't be leaving anytime soon. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Remains controversial. Today's meeting was the only one in Tennessee on the proposed USDA rule changes.